feel like in any homestead or farm, you really do things depending on the weather. Like in spring, you more than likely will have baby chicks, you will have baby goats, and all the kind, all the babies will be in the farm. Then once summer hits, it's all the weaning and some of the boys starting to get ready for the rut season. And then comes fall and then comes winter. In those two seasons, I do things completely different compared to the rest of the year. I like to work inside the trailer. You guys know we don't have a house, but I do have a trailer and I am really appreciative of it. So I try to fix the things that maybe I didn't get to during the summer. I'll organize drawers, I will knit, I will sew, I will, I don't know, change things around, move furniture around, make it more comfortable for maybe doing out indoor things because we spent nine months out of the year doing outdoor things. So in this video, I'm kind of cheating because I'm doing the intro on a sunny day, but I wanted to share with you what a rainy day looks like in our homestead. Um, the amount of water that we've been getting, a little bit of our water collection that is not really a system, but it's a lot of heavy lifting buckets and all those things that really happen during the rain and maybe I don't share enough of. I also will be sharing with you a couple of soaps that I've been working on. Every day I've been doing a couple of uh, molds of soap, so I just wanted to share that with you as well. So I hope you enjoy this different kind of video and I hope you enjoyed the idea of sprinkling in a lot of um, fall and winter activities that I do inside that are 100% related to having a homestead or having a farm and a lot of the planning and a lot of the things that happen while it's raining and it's not really nice to be outside. If you're new around here, please remember to subscribe before you go. If you enjoy this kind of content, like this video and leave a comment down below so I can give you the welcome. Now I'm gonna leave you with the video. I'm coming for you guys and um, I'm gonna show you the boys man because it changes so much with the rain like really it changes a lot with the rain um so the idea over here remember we we're gonna fence this entire area for the boys we did fence one part over there to separate when the boys were um what's it called banded but now this is the area that needs to happen and we're gonna make it happen throughout the winter when we get some dry spells we do get them <laughs> it's the, they're just maybe once a week so i have uh, a couple of does that are coming from another farm or two other farms that w want to be bred to or want their <laughs> girls to be bred to rocky so i need to make this happen this is a lower area as you can see it's kind of higher and this is lower so this even though we filled this you can see there's some sticks and leaves and things that it's composting to um, help fill it's not enough so this is all gonna be covered with some broken granite that we got for free but it needs to happen also in the boys. You're such a brave little guy. You're so brave, little Dom. You know, you're not brave. My husband put those rocks over there for us. And they think it's a runway. They walk in from one side to the other all day long. So let me get that done.
They love to come and taunt Hulk. There's a couple of them that like to do that. And Hope was really loved to go out there and chase them. I don't know if you can see it, but she is <laughs> looking at Hope. There she is. She's still looking at Hope. I mean, she's just taunting. So this rested for, what, 24 hours or so? This is how it looks like. This is kind of a mix of, what's it called, peppermint. Well, it has a bunch of, but it's more like minty fresh and it does have poppy seeds. So I'll show you when I cut in. And then this one, I made this beautiful design on top. But, um, it just didn't work because when I put it in the fridge, I realized that I didn't, there you go, you can see it. When you cut it, you'll see how beautiful it is. It, is. Um, it has some orange peels on top. And next time I'm going to try with or like uh, orange slices to decorate on top. But this is going to be kind of the exfoliating part of the soap. Um, if you remember, I had a really nice design on top, but then I remember I was missing the scent. I forgot to put the essential oils. So I had to put the oils in here, mix it all, that's why it's all messy on the sides, and come up with a different concept. So I'll show you how it looks like. when it's gonna be tricky to get out because of how I mixed it I didn't realize that never I try never to do this but in this case it is what it is I'm gonna open it like this and you can see how it's all kind of um, marble I guess that's what it is I'm gonna wash this because I need to make more soap And then on top it has this beautiful texture, the poppy seeds and everything. So this is what it looks like out of the mold. And now let's cut it and I'll share with you kind of my experience with this recipe that is specifically double moisturizing or, you know, a better um, lathering but at the same time moisturizing recipe that I've tried okay so this is the orange uh, lemon verbena that I kind of messed up and forgot to put the scent and I ended up scratching the design and kind of starting with something new and it's adding poppy se seeds and orange peel to the top however um, it sh I mean that wasn't the goal that wasn't the idea in the beginning it was kind of let's try to fix it <laughs> kind of situation and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten bars came out of this one and as you can see it does have kind of um, a mix of orange and some lighter and in the bottom there's still some um, of the initial white as you can see in the last two you can see a little bit more of that um, what I learned about this one is that if you want to do a double moisturizing recipe it's better not to mess with toppings because it is so moisturized and I'm gonna show you <clears throat> It is so moisturizing that it starts breaking apart as you cut it. Let me show you this one. So I might cut it. As you can see the design, it's pretty. So I might cut some of these that were, um, you know, kind of messed up. Like look at this one. This one, just the orange peel came down and marked it. So I might cut this and sell them as 
likely felt soap I'm gonna do a few of them as felt soap so that way I it don't waste this recipe this five um, there's a couple more here seven in total that are just fine but there's two and a half that it, they're not um, and they kind of broke again because of the moisture content and that's something that is going to evaporate um, that's not something that it's going to stay with the soap it's going to evaporate as it cures for four weeks so the lesson behind this is uh, yeah I if it is the extra moisturizing recipe don't mess with the top just go with a design if you want to make it look pretty and you know smell delicious now as far as how moisturizing it is I think this is gonna be so perfect and at the same time pretty to put in a, either a gift box or to put it in a beautiful basket now let me show you the other one which was a complete success. so here is the other recipe this is going to be called woods and I I need to clean the edges and stuff like that but I wanted to show you that's how you can tell how moisturizing it is it doesn't kind of flake off it's like <laughs> so moisturizing that you can just um, run your finger through it and it comes in like little almost well I don't know how to explain it but it's completely different from one they break off like this from the edges so this is amazing it smells delicious I love the design I wanted to do something a little bit more um, I don't know masculine I guess that's the word so I use this kind of pepperminty eucalyptus mix um, it has a couple of other essential oils as well but I don't know if you can tell it's just so so pretty looking and so moisturizing so for sure this is the one that I liked more out of the two but since this were supposed to be for sale I am going to cut my losses with the other one and uh, kind of make something out of it like felted soap now for felted soap you still have to wait for it, it for, for it to cure just because it has a lot of moisture and you're gonna lose a lot of the soap in it so and this is still going to be cured now this one I love the design every single bar let me show you every single bar ended up being perfect so easy to cut and I just really really happy with the way it looks there's not even one bar that was wasted so it was the perfect recipe I mean amount of oils amount of everything so long story short the recipe itself it's amazing I just have to make sure that I don't mess with the signs because it's just too um, soft that's a word that I'm looking for too soft to be messed with and it marks as you can see as you touch it so it's better just to put it to cure like this I love this one I I think this is one of my favorite scents for the season and I think it's perfect for Christmas and these are just some of the things that I won't be able to use um, but that I'm gonna still cure and use it for us as I'm gonna put it together make it into a ball and make it into a little soap which is completely okay and as I showed you some parts were breaking off the tops because this was not meant to be um, the kind of soap that has that top at least not this recipe you've seen this kind of design in goat's milk soap and it works it's just you know lesson learned it wasn't for this recipe